All right, guys, I am back for a little bit tonight. And apparently I should not be watching live shows while I'm crafting because then I was like, oh no, um, I've almost done the whole journal without filming it. That doesn't work real well. Okay, so while, while we were away, I added... Went ahead and glued all these in. I added these, added a little stenciling to the back. Um, I put that one on, I a little stenciling there. Um, I ended up finding the negative here. So that's just um, something to keep in mind is don't throw out your negatives because um, then you can use them as stencils in your project. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I put this on as a side tuck, added a couple of the pieces of ephemera from the kit in there. Oh boy, I did this one too. And then, um, of course I stenciled on the back of those ones. Um, and then I added this little tuck here to add our little envelope in. Um, so yeah, and I added these pockets and I did these tags. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, so sorry. Um, yeah, like I said, I should not be, I did this pocket and this tag here. I should not be um, watching, you know, maybe I ought to switch those tags. Nah, it'll be all right. If whoever gets this journal and wants to switch them, they certainly can. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and switch them. Um, just because it was the same the six and the six, I was just thinking. There. Put this one here. Like I said, I was just crafting and then I went, oh my goodness, whoops. And I did these tags, I think too, without you guys. Um, and yep, that one. And then um, this actually ca uh, came from uh, Susan Taylor Brown now has a um, book plate um, kit, so if you're if you're interested in that, and it comes in all kinds of different backgrounds um, to kind of mix and match and everything. And then I put on the eyelet here, and then I got our front cover piece, and I'm kind of stuck on what else I want to add to it. If I want to add anything, like I kind of like it just the way it is. Um, so I thought we could together do this one yeah really sorry about that guys I just I got into that live show and I was just crafting away and you know it just went that way so I think this will probably be maybe the last one before the big flip through Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Looking good, looking good. Looks like we're centered up there. Okay. Gonna hold that down because that's a little um a little off. Not off, but like the cover since it's kind of more soft sided. Okay, all right, and then we'll go ahead and cut our string, and we'll see if I can get these ones threaded this time. Let's see, I think we'll do about here. Last time I couldn't get it threaded. I don't know if I videotaped that one or not. It, I mean, it was pretty hysterical. Um, and I still have the two big tags um, to put in the, um, oh yeah, see that went right through. I don't know what my big malfunction was the last time I tried to do that. I don't know if it just didn't want to go or what.
Mm. I'm a big fan now of uh, closures like this. I, I gotta say it's one of my favorites. Um, yeah. Okay, and then we'll tie it in a bow when we're ready. Oh my gosh, I I gotta say I'm loving this. Loving it, loving it. And so then I was also looking for my little silver charms, snowflakes, and they are MIA. I have no idea where they ended up. I will keep looking for them. If I don't find them, then I, I just won't add any charms. I just was thinking it might be kind of cute to tie in um, a little bit on the silver. Um, all right, so now I guess I can tie it now just to kind of get it out of the way. Then we'll go through and um, we'll figure out what we're going to do for these big tags. Um, I think I think they're going to be collage. Oh, doesn't that just look pretty? All right. All right, I am in love with Sari Silk, and I ordered my first batch. Again, I need to do a video. Oh my goodness, I am like behind on four different videos. And then, um, Lori sent me two journals and they are exquisite, so I need to get those filmed. All right, so this is, I know you, the camera's probably not gonna pick it up, but this is like a shimmer on both sides. So I thought that would be really pretty. Um, I think one side, we're gonna try it because right it doesn't really matter if it if it turns out exactly how we envisioned it right um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just try the distress ink on these and then I'm thinking I have all those other um, uh, cream colored oh it's the same color as this well, hmm. Because see then if I do that, I mean this looks pretty, right? It's just faint. I was going to maybe do these, but then obviously, duh, Goober, it's the same, it's the same paper. It's not going to, that's not going to stand out any. Oh, well, hmm. So at this point, do we switch papers or do we just, keep, I think we just keep going. And the Moodle... The right, the right thing will, will um, hit us when it hit, hits us, right? That's what I'm going for. I was trying to think if maybe I had any silver paper that I could... Oh, gosh darn it. Look what I did. Just look what I did. I think I need a new paper because I'm pretty sure this is all distracting. Alright, let's put this one down in this corner. I just love using the negatives off of off of the um, off the scraps that you get, or the, not the scraps, like when you die cut. It is one of my favorite ways to make stencils. Awfully quiet tonight, guys. No particular reason. I'll just add that last one there. I like using these. Um, because I, I'm a heavy inker, I get heavy handed 
and so these kind of save you if you're heavy-handed like I am. Okay, so I like that. Let's go ahead and do the other one while we're thinking about what else we're doing here. That should be pretty in the blue too. Oh, until you move your paper, Hoover. Oh, I just did that one. So Grace is all excited because she helped Paul put the steps on my truck. So she's all flying high on learning mechanics. So that's pretty cute. Yep, she was pretty adorable. When she came in, she's like, I helped him put on the steps. Like... Yeah, she was like underneath the truck helping him. So it wasn't just like she was holding something. She actually like. I think I kind of keep gravitating towards the same ones. It's almost like I have a favorite or something, huh? did a bigger one right here you know what I got to think and I have these wax um, like when I was doing a lot of airbrushing um, I've got these wax stencil makers and I was thinking that maybe I would try cutting some of my die cuts out of that um, and then see how it would ink up. I think I originally bought the pack at um, Hobby Lobby years ago, but I bet you they still have it in the stencil department. I'll have to dig that out and kind of see if I can probably hearing them giggle out there. I do I do like having a daddy's girl. I think I've said that before. Um, she does enjoy her dad time when he gets home. Okay, we'll call it good for those. All right, then I'm thinking really hard. Can't you see the smoke? I think what we might do is then collage the back, maybe. I've got I've got some pieces left. Oh, that's part of the journal. I was thinking I had to scrap a sorry silk out here. <laughs> oh, I think your girl might need some sleep. All right, so let's. I don't know that we need to do all of it and I have that little there it is I was thinking maybe some lined paper on the back of this one too we don't need crazy amounts I'm never gonna be able to cut that that straight And I don't need it like way straight, just not my cutting type of straight. Or crooked, I guess. Okay, 
Where are we at? I think so of this piece. I might go to this one. I do think I'm going to take just a little bit off this side. I think I like that, so we'll put this one down first. I don't know if it's going to stick to this. Do you see it keeps disappearing? Interesting. This side. I think we don't need to do the ends yet. Nope. Okay. Yeah, the puppies are barking. Why don't bet they want their dinner? check with Grace to see if she fed them yet. Um, our dogs do eat kind of late in the evenings and usually like late morning, so. That side. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I think, cause I don't think I came over far enough. Or did I? Not quite. So then I'm just going to take my art glitter glue and run it in there on the edge. Sudden, I'm shaky. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. And I still have all these cream colored snowflakes I don't know what to do with. save them for a different project, right? It's not like I'm not making two journals, right? I don't even remember at this point where I got this shimmer stuff. I'm almost out of it. Um, it was just like in a paper pack. And if I, if memory serves right, I got it at Tuesday morning. All right, now what for this one? I was actually thinking, since we have these, that maybe, I know we've used mostly everything in there in different spots, but I was thinking, might as well, right?
I don't know, is that like taboo to use an image more than once? I mean, I don't think it is, and I like the way that looks. And then maybe, I'm actually, I'm thinking I might be able to use the cream, the cream snowflakes. I guess I am bound and determined to use those cream snowflakes, huh? Then what I was thinking, boy, I sure do say that a lot, right? What if I did that? That way I'm only down to a couple. A couple like 20. <laughs> what wonder what would happen if we just did just a Goshen of Blue. Ooh, that looks nice. I don't know if the camera will pick that one up either. Just a light little blue washing of it. That changes it a little bit, huh? Okay. Okay, now for a tab, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these blue, and then that means that we used all of the fabric we cut. Either as tag toppers, or like um, small little embellishments, or something. Yep, I like it. Thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I have thoroughly enjoyed this kit. It is a very fun one to work with. I have noticed, I don't know, it's just some food for thought. The art glitter glue does take, um, and I'm not going to add a gem to that one. I like it just the way it is. Um, a little bit longer to dry on the uh, fabric. I was noticing that today too. Alright, so let's put our little girl in here. Oh, I should have done the tab off-centered. That's alright. It'll still stick up there, I think. can still get to it okay all right now we are down to this other tag and I like that so well only I think I'm going to use I'm gonna tie this all the way shut just enough um, I love the cover piece it's the um, where they're all ice skating so I think we're gonna do kind of a sideways 
tag, but it'll just be long. That makes sense? Probably not. All right, now we gotta get in there right to the edges. Let's get this one inked. What do you need, sweetie? I haven't yet. Will you do it, please? Turn of the doily. Hmm. Maybe just half of it. Or like the top corner piece here. Like I said, I got a weird thing, like weird love affair going on with doilies right now. Just a little peeking, I think. Okay, and then maybe we'll do another one of those blue snowflakes, maybe, because I think I have just a couple more small ones. Oh, never mind, I have a lot over here. All right, we'll do some small ones in the corners. I'm gonna go ahead and tear those off. I don't want those peeking through. what we're looking for for time. I think we're good. I think we're good. And I'm going to go with the blue again. Man, I wish I'd figured that out sooner. I wonder what it would look like if you uh, used the use the blue on the stencil, which that would look really cool. I also have that other blue oxide one. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, like the name of it, but maybe we'll use that in the next journal. Okay, there's one. Do we want another one in this corner? I think the upper corner. Oh, that might look kind of cool. Okay. Blew it up a little. 
for a lot. Their ink isn't really liking being brushed on. At least on the um, more glittery paper. Okay. Last piece here. Okay, and there we go. Um, that is that last tag for that. Um, let's put it in the thing, in its pocket, and then we'll flip through and just see if we want something else somewhere else maybe. Because I also, I think I showed you like in the very first video maybe, that I made all these bags too out of the leftovers. I don't know. I might figure out something with those. I wanted to use them in here, but I, you know, it's not like I won't have more projects, so we could do that. Oh, I didn't collage the back. <sighs> all right, so we're just going to ink it. That's all right. You can still write on this shiny, right? You guys are probably like, ha ha, <laughs> yet another one. That one didn't stick, right? Nope, we're good. All right, let's take All right, I'm going to let this one dry for a few minutes. Um, I may need to trim something down, maybe. Or it could just be that this pocket is really stiff. And this is what I do for really stiff. And just in case it's um, hung up or stuck anywhere, I take my ruler in there and just kind of go right to the glue edge, make sure there's nothing else catching it up or anything. Because, you know, like, because Fabri-Tac... I think I only used art glitter glue with this one, but for example, um, Fabri-Tac like, has those uh, strings and every now and then you'll get it to where it um, will hang up. All right, I think I like it just the way it is, if I'm being honest. I think I, think I do. I don't know that I wanna add anything else. I'll um, sleep on it tonight. And if I think of anything more, oh, I did forget to show you the other thing I did. Okay, so um, a couple of days ago, Gail did another, like, this is what you can do in front of the TV type of thing. She made this um, little, like, tiny envelope collage thing. And so I was like, well, how could I get it to where you could still flip and use it? So this one here flips down, and you can use it still. But then you still have the stacked, and it's it's actually like pockets all the way over. So, yeah. Yeah, cute little tuck, I thought. Good job, Gail. I liked that one. All right, so we're going to call this one a video. And I will sleep on it tonight and see if anything else comes to me. Um, it's feeling done. Um, so, other than the little, if I can find the little charms, I'll add them. So the next video will be the flip through. All right, thank you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.